Great here, welcome back to Factorio. So, we have the beginnings of our train network set up. I need to start... Well, I need to, to get this line all the way up to our Iron Depot up north. And then uh, get the, the train running in between the two. So, the beginnings of that is going to be yet another RoboPort. And the reason we need this robo port right there is so I could do a request for fuel for both engines it's the easiest way to keep them fueled up is this that doesn't look right That's... I should one of these okay one more over okay that looks right and then let's get and I want to store uh, do I have a storage chest out here no I don't and I'm not gonna build one to hack with it okay request take a drink request your chest uh, which side do I want the request your chest on I want it on this side And the reason for that is I want to unload on the other side. And in fact, I do not want these to be normal. I want these to be stack inserters. That way they fill up these trains as quickly as possible. In fact, I'm going to need a bunch of stack inserters. So let's just make um, not that many. No. No. <laughs> Maybe I should make those automatically. But a bunch. Okay, take a drink. I gotta stop that. Well, ten is a is a good start. What would be a good start is getting power over here. So let's get. There and can I put? Can I put another? right there. Let's get lights on both ends of this. Of course we are having severe power problems again. So this needs to request just coal and wood. I don't care which one gets loaded into the train. I really don't. Coal, then wood. And I know what you're probably saying. Great, great. You have coal over here. Mine the coal back over here. I have very little other use for the coal, and I'm putting it into the network. I'll mine this, and all of this is just going to go into the network eventually anyway. So I want that other deposit cleared. The more coal I use, the faster that other deposit gets cleared. And besides, this uses such little coal that this will this will be fine. So for the time being, this this is good. So let's get the track all the way up to um, the base up north. I think I can just go straight like this, I hope. I'm probably, oh, so close. Yeah, well, I can make it work. So let's go all the way to right there. Where's my other station? It needs to be on this side. And this station is going to be, oh, it's named Exodus. This is going to be Iron Mine 1. How original, right? Now I can come over here to Trains and I can say, Mr. Train, you are going to add Iron Mine 1 until inventory full.
And, oh, good, I didn't get killed. That would have been bad. So, what I'm going to do here is just bring it all the way back up to there. Because I need to figure out how I want to load these up. So let's just pair all of this back. These, I can do this. In fact, I think this is actually going to get the train to go. Oh no. Yeah, there's the train. Whoops. Well, I can get the rest of this in my inventory. Uh, let's get the train back here. Let's remove that condition and tell the train to come back here. And let's not stand on the track. Standing on the track is bad to your health, as in, you will die. Now this is... Train? Train? Iron Mine 1, wait until... Okay, hold on. Uh... Item count. Okay. Obviously, let's get rid of that, and we're going to tell it to come to Iron Mine 1. We'll work this out. There it is. Okay. Take a drink. Now, I'm not going to put any coal up here, because look at how much fuel it uses. I mean, it's barely used any to make this run. That's why I said having those chests down there with the fuel really doesn't matter. So, insert a capacity bonus is good. Do I have more of that? Requires purple science. I do not want to use purple science. I'm avoiding purple science for a reason. It requires me to go out to kill aliens, and I don't want to kill aliens with my power the way it is right now. I mean, if they throw themselves at me, that's great, but I'm not hunting down their base right now. So, I actually need... Hmm. Let's get two more iron chests, or steel chests. And we'll put two chests per wagon for the time being. And... I want to get this line as close to the other as possible. There. And we're going to do a simple balancer of a red splitter. I don't think I have enough to run red all the way up. But this at least makes sure that both sides... Well, like I said, perfect is the enemy of... good enough of, of, of getting stuff done. So let's get our two stack inserters here, two more on out. And let's get these powered up. And let's get some light in here because it is dark and it's dark because we have no power, of course. So this will make sure that both get loaded up. How quickly are these getting loaded up? They're not getting loaded up that fast, but then again, we're low on power right now. So I'm not expecting much. Okay, let's get into the train and let's tell it, I want you to go to the depot. Oops. Depot. Inventory empty. There we go. Add iron mine one. Inventory full.
There we go. So we are going to empty onto this side of the train. And I am in the logistics network. Let's look at this. If I run all the way across, I would have to punch a hole through my solar. Yeah, I would have to punch a hole through my solar fields to get the iron into the iron line. So, for the time being, just to get iron over there, we're still going to rely on the robots. Which sucks. And where is our stack inserters? We can unlock. Really? Fine, be that way. Let's get uh, here. And we need two more stack inserters. There we go. So let's see how fast they're unloading. These are going to beat out the bots. So that's going to be fine. Because I think my bots are not bringing me any steel right now. And I bet you, well, yeah, I've got some steel over here, but if I look at the steel line, it is just going to be bone dry all the way down. Yep. So I need those. I just need to get the iron going. Let's check our iron line again. Yeah, look at this. It's just dried up dried as dry can be. Yeah, this is 450 left. This has 1.6k. I, I need this iron to come in from these, uh, these requester chests. In fact, I'm going to change this up. This is clearly not working. So, I need... let's get our stack inserters on either side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put belt up. And uh, let's make it fast belt, actually. And this is going to be fast underneath to there. There. Now that will load up the belt. And I don't have to worry about whether the logistics robots are going to go to the top or to the bottom. They're going to get it over here. Okay, how many... Yep, I'm full up on rail. That's good. So the steel here is going to be... Yeah. Okay, logistics robot. I knew I was going to pick one up. There you go. In fact, give me. I have no reason to have a logistics robot in my inventory ever. Ever, ever, ever. So if I ever pick one up randomly, that will get it injected back into the network. So here's 2.3. So I got full water. The engines are running. Okay, for the time being, iron is taken care of. Now we need more power. And during the day, we're, yeah, we're peaking out at 30, which means that at night, uh, we're running out completely. Because we've only got 30 megawatts of power generation in those engines. 
That means I need to bring more engines online. Effect transmission. Beacons. Do I want to do beacons yet? Mark two batteries. That'll work. Okay, so now it's nighttime. Let's take a look at the water. Yeah, look how fast that water is draining. We just need more hot water storage. We need more engines. Hey, <laughs> some of my artifacts got down here, apparently. 230 of the little suckers. So, how big of an area do we have here? Big enough. Let's... Do I want to do another engine run that might activate attacks from the south? Look at those bases down there. Maybe it's time I bit the bullet and start making... Um, accumulators. I really don't want to. I wanted to stay away from them because these tanks are just so much cheaper, but the accumulators, um, they don't put out any pollution. Do I have accumulators? Oh, I haven't researched it yet. Moot point. Okay. Take a drink. Let's get our offshore pump going. I need a bunch for stone furnaces. Let's just get another another line of uh, engines and uh, those tanks, hot water tanks up and running. So... Wait, 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 wait. Stone. No, 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 no. Stop. 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 Why do I do that to myself? Yeah, it was taking it out of my... Out of my hand, basically. Okay, I need... 14 boilers. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And if I, if I put the engine down here, I can go quite a distance before I hit this, this copper mine. In fact, I'm going to go all the way over here. As far over as I can go. Where's my offshore pump? There it is. That's a good a place as any. Okay, let's unlock this, get this out. Let's get my... Don't need the stone anymore. Where are my underground belt or pipes? There they are. There? Yeah. Yep, that's the right place. So where are my boilers? So now let's get... I need to get the fuel all the way down here. And that is uh, way outside the logistics network, isn't it? Yes, it is. Remember in the very first episode, or the second episode maybe, where I was pointing out that I could walk through here? I bet people thought I would never have to use that, and I could just... Yeah, this is why. <laughs> yeah, I, I could split it up at a later date, but why not just build it right the first time? Nope, 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 nope. OK, 
Okay, let's get to here. And there's our boilers. We just need regular inserters, of which I have a billion. And let's get our two power, uh, medium power poles in place. Let's get, oh, hey. There we go. Did I? I messed these up by one, of course. I put them to where they go to the boilers, not all the way up to the inserters. No, not a medium. Large. And let's get just some light down here. So, now what I want to do... Can I build... Tanks. Yes, I can. How many engines can I build? Bunches. Two. Let's build six tanks for now. And how was I doing this? Two for every set of ten. And I had this split right here. I wonder if there's a better way that I could do that. Well, first off, let's get our max length underground pipe. So, let's think about this. If I put a pair of tanks here, this will fill up with hot water. Is there a more space efficient way that I could have this in line? What happens if I put... I need 10 engines. Wow. I have no idea where... Yeah, no idea where that is. Okay. Where's my 10 engines? Uh, so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then here... Like so. And here I can put two like that. Is that creating too much branching? Let's let's compare to up oof. Just so dark. Let's compare that to up here. Oh, no, 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 I'm doing four for every, and I'm only branching at the very front. That's completely different. Okay. Take a drink. Is my pick finally? No. Weird. I'm actually going to do something different here. Four, five, six, seven. Let's put inserters like so. Yes, I'm going to have to destroy this uh, this setup but I think if I put it there and there let's get my boilers again Need to, I want to put the split here. 
Okay, boilers. You will now line up with the pipe, right? Okay. I keep doing that. So these top boilers act as inventories for the bottom boilers. So this, this chains across. The reason I'm putting the split up here is I want the cold water to, to be split. Oh, right. I need to replace that. There we go. I want the split up here. The ratio is 14 to 10 or 7 to 5. And since I'm doing a 5 and 5 split up north, I'm going to do a 5, five and 5 split down here. But now that I am know I'm using this particular layout, I am now dedicating the boilers to a chain of engines. So let's get our pipe. Let's get rid of this one. Battery Mark 2 is taken care of. Let's start up with... I still have secondary defenses. Where are my engines? And what I'm going to do is go like that, because that gives me my space in the middle. And two, that's four, and five. Let's get the medium electric poles in place. Of course, I'm, I'm always standing right where I need to place it. These are coming into here. Let's get another medium pole to drop here. Okay, now we've hooked these in, in line. Of course, I went too far on the medium pole there. Needs to go there and there. Let's get one light in the middle and over here I did three right so one two three one two three let's get our two tanks like so so these should be filling up with water now what I want to do oh right I want three on this side, like so. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get objects are being damaged on the north side. That looks like it's fine. Let's get another medium pole to max distance. And to max distance again. Really? I want to go max distance. There we go. Now what happens if I make this, and I remembered I have a blank, a blank, uh, what am I thinking of? Blueprint. Now look at that. They're just trucking along. No, I only need out to here, right? Right. And now, can I just drop this down like this? It looks like it. Yeah, it'll connect. Okay, so what I can do now, because I'm pretty sure I'm in the, the logistics network extends for quite a distance. Yes, it does. So what I can do now is set up automatic building 
four engines and these storage tanks and I can dump those down just like I can with my solar panels up here. But that will have to be next time because I've run long yet again. Let's take a look at this. Our iron is still looking good. In fact, how... In fact, this should not be here anymore. Okay. That one's not a take a drink because that was, you know, me going... Seeing what's what. So this is full. And it looks like it's actually making a... Uh, the robots are keeping up for the time being. So next time we will probably put down more solar. Uh, we'll get the engines set up, the tanks set up, and we'll try to get a handle on this power situation again. Hope you enjoyed today's video and have fun.